United States Dena Mengistu's book All Our Names received rave reviews. It's just come out in France. His third novel takes place in the US Midwest and in Uganda after its independence. The Ethiopian American explores many issues, including immigration. It's kind of, I guess, reached a sort of tipping point where governments feel like they can no longer choose to just sort of like let these people keep sliding by or disappearing into the shadows now that there's um, a noticeable amount of attention being paid. People feel like we can't just let them die at sea, that there's some culpability that we bear for that. So to some degree, you're, you're relieved. Um, at the same time, you're incredibly disappointed with a lot of the response. You're watching people's... Um, one being reduced to a certain, sim to a very simple type of category, right? You know, the migrant label becomes one way of sort of stripping them of a lot of interior and emotional complexity. Dina Mingistu is often linked to other African authors like Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie or Taya Selassie. Our work is often very different from one another, but I think it would be impossible to deny that something particular is happening right now, that um, part of it is I think we get to tell stories that our parents didn't get to tell. So Jim Amandi can write about the Afro, which is I think a story people have been waiting to tell for a long time. I could write about what happens um, in Ethiopia during the 1970s, which is something my parents could never do. So I do feel like there's a strong alliance. I think, um, you know, I think everyone wants to make sure that their own individual voices are preserved. Dinah Mengistu left Ethiopia for the United States when he was two. Will the issue of migrants also be at the center of his next novel? I think you're always compelled to try to do something different. Um, and this novel, in relationship to my other two books, they've all been concerned with this sort of similar problems and the questions of, of what happens when you lose your home, what happens when you have to recreate your identity in a new country. And I do, a part of me feels like I think I'm ready to try something different. Um, but you never know until you start writing. It's possible that it's such a part of who you are that it always finds its way into your work. Mengistu has performed a feat. With his restrained style, he's written at the same time a love story, a book on migration and a thriller.